Good morning. This is going to be the first one in my new series called Lunch with Al. And I'm going to generally do it after I have lunch with somebody. And I'm going to try to do this more frequently since I have now I have six people watching me on my YouTube channel. I only had three before Karen Joy 511, Kay Fogg at 22. Linda Vestel, there's a honest person. She puts her own name on there. I kind of, I like you, Linda, already. SL, who's 72, I think his first name is Sam. He's living in San Francisco. And Sam, let me tell you, if you ever get in Sac Sacramento, you give me a call, or give me an email, let me know, and I'll take you to lunch, and I'll, you can be on one of these people I interviewed. Then we have Elmer Carter. You want to take me to lunch, too? You already bought me lunch today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, Elmer Carlson is also 72. Emily Smith. And then all of, the, all of these people, they responded to me within two hours after I posted the video about my uh, cardio version. And I didn't tell anybody I did it. Oh, I'm going to... Ben, would you... <laughs> It's too late now. Oh, no, I can do it. Uh, yeah, I forgot to time 118. myself. 118. Okay, yeah, 118. I, I don't want to have this thing overrun. I, 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 I don't like long videos. So the concept here is to inter interview interesting people. <laughs> and Esther's the first one that's interesting. I know a lot of interesting people. And make them short so that people just don't go crazy. Uh, on it. So uh, I'm going to try to make them. The goal is to make them 10 minutes and under. I'm going to try. We'll see. Yeah. All right. So uh, that's the concept. And now we're going to interview my good friend Esther. And Esther, um, how long have you been a whole food plant based person? Six years. That will be seven on July 13th. Okay. Of 23. Okay. I started July 13th of 2016, about the same time you did. It t turns out the same month. What yeah. a coincidence. <laughs> All right. And uh, what caused you to become whole food plant based? Uh, now, remember, you're on the clock. Yes. Knee pain. Knee pain. Wow. And how much did you weigh then? 257. Oh, yeah, you're a little... <laughs> I had weighed 282, but I only count the... Had you been on a diet before? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no dummy. <laughs> Many diets, of course. Yeah. Um, you know, like I said, it was 282, and we'd been on the Atkins diet. That was the last diet we were on, and yeah. oh, I nearly died on that. Yeah. So we don't do that. Yeah. But yeah, so I was 257 when I started in 2016, and now I'm 127. So I lost 130 pounds, which is more than I weigh now. And did you get any benefits from being on a whole food plant-based diet? Well, I'd say losing 130 pounds was a big benefit. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But it also... You know, that's too much, and how much? 200... No, 230? No, 130 is what I lost. 30. Uh, exactly 130? Uh -huh. No, 135 maybe? Nope. I wanna... Well, I had lost 25 before, so 155 altogether. That's, 100, I guess I was trying to get to that. Oh, number. okay. 155 is less than I weigh now. You lost, so you could put me on your back and carry me around, and yes. that's how much you weigh. Yeah. Not even as much as you. All of this is how much I lost. Yeah. Oh, That's right. I hope it's better looking than me. Well, it, it's, it's been peed out of me. Let's put it that way. It's gone. I wondered where the where where, where let's, does it let's, go? Let's quit this analogy now. While we're behind. <laughs> All right. So, uh, where were we? Okay, so that's one benefit. But did, did, oh, yes. didn't I, you get other benefits? Well, yes, of course. I don't have constipation anymore, but that's, that's one of the smaller yeah, ones. Yeah. I don't have sleep apnea. Yeah. I don't have GERD. Yeah. I don't have diverticulitis. Yeah. I don't have high blood pressure. Oh, that's good. I'm not pre-diabetic. Yeah. And that's just some of them. That's good. So, yeah, yeah and I got rid of my um, sleeping medication. I got rid of lithium medication. I got rid of... Uh, let's see, what was the other one? Statins. I was on yeah. statins. And I got rid of my thyroid medication, but in all honesty, 
after being several years without it, I did need to go back on the minimum dosage yeah. of 25. Well, so you know, that, I would like to be transparent and honest. Didn't you have another Oh, issue? yes. I had a, a macular pucker in my eye. We know each other so yes. well. And so I was uh, going to have surgery to repair that, but I yeah. told the doctor, hey, let's wait and see what this diet does. Yeah. So guess what? What? No surgery for my knee. I know. No surgery for my eye. Now, didn't didn't they tell you that you you couldn't even have the surgery unless I lost seventy pounds. Yeah, and at did, the beginning, and then he didn't tell me how to lose it. Yeah. He just says, "Well, they don't know how to lose it. That's one That's reason right. they don't tell you." That's right. Um, but uh, it wasn't. That was just a tad discouraging, wasn't it? Well, yes, because I didn't know what to do. I mean, I, you know, he said he could give me knee injections. Yeah. Or I could have, uh, he could refer me to surgery for yeah. a possible knee replacement. Yeah. Or I could just keep taking my me pain medication. I didn't want to be on pain medication. Yeah. So I didn't know what to do. So that's mm -hmm. where Dr. McDougall came into the picture. My friend gave me his book. And I thought, well, this is something new. I'll put it to the test. We'll yeah. see if that sucker works. <laughs> it did. <laughs> How are we doing for time, Ben? Six minutes it says. Oh, that's Six. all we... Fantastic. All right. Um, let's see, where was I? <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, I, I didn't get to... Folks, I have to admit, we didn't get to organize this. We were on another podcast with yeah. uh, uh, Suzanne in yeah. Germany. So... Uh, I'm just mumbling along, but, you, but I'm sure you want to ask me how this changed my life. <laughs> that was it. That was, that was right on the tip of yes, my tongue. Yes, yes. yes. How did it change your life? Oh That's man, good. I'm evangelist now. I just want to tell everybody about the new word that I've received. Yes. The life that has come into my life, and not only that. Yes, you did. After after I say I say nine months, Ben says six months. Then he came onto my life too, and he changed my husband. Because so many times in a mixed marriage, it's hard to succeed. Yes, it is. And you know that too. So anyway, I'm so thankful that that over time, Ben realized that he wanted to do it too. But you can't change anybody else. You can't yeah, change if anybody I, else. If I may, I learned that you can't care more about other people's lives than they do. Right. And you and I see people all day long that are suffering and yet all they have to do is just change what they put in their mouth and they won't do it. No, because you, know? you have to change your head too. Yeah, first. That's that's where the emotional part comes yes, in. Yeah. Because you have to not only wish you could lose weight or wish you could be healthy, but you have to love yourself enough yeah. to make that decision with every bite, like you said earlier. Every bite will lead to either health or death. Yes. Yeah. And, and you get Once you look at it that way, it makes life a little bit it, easier. It's not a game to play. It's yeah. not a diet to try and see if yeah. it works. It's a whole mental reset. Yes. Well, as you may, you may have noticed that she and I think alike and are good <laughs> friends, in case it wasn't obvious. All right. Um, so, uh, oh, what advice would you give you your main goal was the losing 130 pounds because it, from that flowed all the other benefits so what advice would you give to people that are struggling to lose weight or would are desirous of losing weight i think the whole system for me is to realize <clears throat> if you're a food addict you cannot play with this. I mean, this is as serious as if you're an alcoholic. Mm. And you cannot be playing with a little bit of this. Moderation does not work. Uh, portion control does not work. Mm. You know, you cannot have toxic food entering your body if yes. your goal is to be healthy. Yes. And that's a big decision to make because most diets like Weight Watchers, they'll let you trade out uh, a, a potato for a piece of pie or something like that. Yeah. As long as the calorie count and the, the uh, points are the same. But you don't go by calories. You have to go by what's nutrition, you know. And yes. So it's just a whole different mindset. So. What does that mean? Ten minutes. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, thank you, Ben. I appreciate, uh, Ben has helped me on this. I really appreciate that. 
Thank you, Esther. Oh, you're welcome. This is the end of my first one. Uh, the date was 3-20-23, in case anybody cares. Thank you, and goodbye. <laughs>